So this is Emily's dog because Emily constructed it. And uh, right now, he's running a program where he's sad when no one's around, but he has a distance sensor, so if he sees my hand or sees my face, if I get close, he gets very excited. So this is his excited state. And then if I move my hand away, after a little while, he'll get sad again. So you gotta keep him entertained. And that's the robot. Um, and let me show you kind of what's going on here. So this is a pretty classic sort of style with um, hummingbird kit robots, is you have this sort of front end, uh, two-dimensional robot, and all the wiring and everything is on the back. All right, so this robot has, let me point out all of his outputs. Um, he has, he's using all four servos, two for his arms, two for his ears. Uh, he's using two tricolor LEDs in the eyes, and this styrofoam is actually really good at diffusing color so that if you turn on like both the red and the green elements, the eye will glow a nice uniform yellow. Um, because red and green make yellow. Uh, he has four LEDs in his collar. Uh, two are red and two are green. And that's just something we chose. We decided to go sort of Christmas colors. Uh, and he also, this wasn't on in this case, but he's also got a little jingle bell attached to a vibration motor here also. So he can make a little like sound like that. Um, some things that I want to point out Oh, and lastly, he has this distance sensor up here to sense when somebody's near. So just sort of different ways to attach things, um, or just to point out different ways to attach things. You know, this is um, built out of foam core and a little bit of cardboard also. And foam core and cardboard are really ideal building materials because they're, they're light and strong enough to hold all of these parts up. Um, foam core is also nice because you can punch holes in it and like, this distance sensor is zip tied on, which is, makes it pretty secure. You can hot glue things to it. So the servos are attached. They have little rectangular cutouts so that you can push the servo through. And then they're attached with hot glue and reinforced with some electrical tape. Uh, the LEDs are just hot glued in to their locations. And that holds pretty strongly. Um, and yeah, that's. That's essentially how he's constructed. In this case, the hummingbird is just sort of floating off. Um, you know, if you had more time, you might put it on like its own foam core and attach it rigidly to the body. Or maybe you just try to put it up here and try to make the, the wires um, a little more, let's say, more well managed, the way uh, Jen's uh, dinosaur robot had much better sort of cable or wire management. This robot is actually uh, evolved out of a smaller robot, where, which was just the head. And if you flip the head over, you could see there would be two eyes, and then these were arms. So you could imagine having just two arms and two eyes, and that's actually a very simple, basic robot to start off with. You could also do two eyes and two eyebrows, and now you have a nice expressive face um, that only takes you know, two tricolor LEDs and two servos. So this robot takes um, four LEDs, four servos, two tricolor LEDs, a vibration motor, and one distance sensor, and it takes maybe three or four hours to build. Uh, so let's say you know, a good project, but not an all-day project.